and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time for our tale of the tape. Adam Prince Jr. Hamed, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 69 inches. And he'll be squaring off against Amir King Khan, 5 foot 8 inches tall, weighing at 146 pounds and has that impressive reach of 71 inches. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. Here comes Prince Jr. And watch out for this guy's hand speed. It runs in the family fighting out of Surrey, England. And it's the king, Amir King Khan. He's Bolton's finest. Watch for those hands tonight. They are as fast as they come. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Surrey, England, and the famed boxing family, here is the son of the prince, introducing Adam Hamed. Hiding out of the blue corner from Bolton, England. Here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140 pound champion of the world. Introducing Amir King Khan. Thousands of fans here in attendance tonight, but when the bell rings, there will only be two that we're talking about. Todd, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. You know what? I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. Here we go for round one. So much for boxing. This is a fight. defending themselves. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Hey, those punches add up. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Counter punches, my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Great counter right hand there. Got out of the way of that right hook. Right punch.
Missed him with that uppercut. Beautiful counter shot. And he just missed with that left jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. Lands with the right counter. Left punch. man really defending themselves. This is one of those fights where if you blink, you probably miss about three or four punches. That's the kind of output we're going to see. And we remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go. They can move. They're fast. They're sharp. It's a hard night work for the referee. And showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice punch. Good counter punching from both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he misses with the left uppercut. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fake in the pickpocket him. Men step back for just a moment. Oh, what a punch! This is that uppercut. Good punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And there's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Good counter punching. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice counter shot. Oh, that punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Nice 
nice exchanges from both men in this round. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can... And Adam Hamed has been dazed. And down goes Hamed. the corner may have to intervene here because this fight oh Adam Hamed now this is not where he wants to be I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better perfect punch Ten seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. And there's the bell to start round four. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Counter left hand there. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. These two are the perfect dance partners. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. That punch lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Just missed with that big right hand. Nice counter shot. Good one. That one will count. what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one a perfect counter lands time for the fifth round coming off a very tough round let's see what they do here they've had one minute to recover now they've got to bluff it they've got to bluff it they've got to come out now and style it out get on the back foot jab Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. We've 
seen in the past from this fighter. They don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice shot with the left. Nice exchange here from both men. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. throwing punches they should be playing defense right now solid punch Ahmed now oh no is he gonna go down Ahmed down but will he make it back up Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Oh, Habed now in serious trouble. And Adam Habed just couldn't take it anymore. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, 